Chetima dressing challenge, Yule Doche slams Nigerians and says no one cares. Nollywood movie star Yule Doche has condemned the ongoing challenge mocking the outfit of the APC vice presidential candidate Kashim Shetima. News Direct reports that photo of the former Borno state governor who attended the NBA conference in Lagos on Monday has been trending us all on social media platforms. Nigerians on Tuesday began the hashtag Shetima challenge to recreate the outfit of the candidate, former presidential aide Reno Mokri and some other social media influencers have joined the challenge. Reacting Yule in a tweet on his Twitter handle described the development as a misplaced priority, wondering why Nigerians are bothered about the dressing well, dressing amid numerous challenges facing the nation. He wrote, Nigerians and misplaced priorities. They will never trend important issues, only frivolities. Who cares about Shetima's dressing? If the next president of Nigeria can fix the country's security and make Nigeria work, he can be wearing only boxers and a singlet to work. Who cares? Okay, well, this is totally very irrelevant. I am not saying that, you know, on social media, it is justified that people mock outfits of a lot of people but it, it's not justified but i think yula doche is taking it to a whole different level again i'm not it's just the standards it's how the culture is it's how the society is and if anything it is what the politicians have taught nigerians on how they interact because it's not even i mean if you look at how politicians would go back and forth at each other call each other ridiculous names i mean this is now getting petty to and again we can't be surprised. The Nigerian government is not necessarily or politicians. They're not necessarily, you know, you know, novices when it comes to being petty and competing. So yes, for the fact that Reno Mokri, who obviously is of the opposing party, would join in the challenge just shows that really anything goes. I mean, you can't be surprised. It's not justified, but you're taking it to a whole different level. Um, I don't even know if um Yule Doche supports Kashim Shetima. You know, I, I don't know if that's maybe why that he's saying that, but really this all doesn't 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 really amount to anything to be honest. Um but on, on a serious on a more serious note, I feel like Kashim Shatima should, you know, I think the way we I, I feel bad in a way for him as well because I he's he's just in a very tight position where really anything he does will just be criticized because he's just not a like he's not just he, he's not liked he's not favored he's not he's not the option nigerians wanted or i guess apc supporters so from the beginning since his name was mentioned it has just been backlash upon backlash upon backlash where even the party members themselves you know they're in they're in they're in qualms and then you have even party members resigning and defecting. So, you know, until his emergence, I mean, it's just what has happened afterwards has just been disapproval of everything he does. And he's in a tough situation where obviously he is the supporter of Tinubu and the party. He can't release anything that is contrary and would have to, you know, put out rhetoric that would support Tinubu and the party. And so for the fact that, first of all, you're not liked, so really the engagement and reception towards you there's already a barrier there and then what you then say does not even then fit with the rhetoric or the narrative that 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 the youth want to hear you will get that bashing and you know it is very sad but he's in that position um obviously trying to recreate and mock what somebody's wearing is obviously not nice it's not meant to be like that but obviously on different social media platforms especially on twitter you cannot expect a platform that has had pretty much no boundaries in terms of conversation in terms of everything it's a very whatever you need to find on social media you will find it there so you can now expect that to transcend into how we communicate with one another i mean people will bash do you know how, i mean it's i don't i don't know it's like are you surprised that this is happening it's just something that is i guess another branch of this whole tree or another yeah, it's another branch of this whole tree because really so many things have been happening but you want to talk about conversations excuse me there was a time where everybody was concerned about the certificate i mean not that you know we shouldn't converse about that but it's just like listen let's be realistic okay 
you have a country that did not allow or justify it and said Buhari did not need a white certificate to become president. So talking about where his certificate is, trying to dig into his life, personally, I found that to be a very relevant conversation. And that is as much irrelevant as this. And in the past few months, we have had irrelevant conversations and things happening in the country that don't even have to do with the elections or the conversations that we should have when it comes to the elections. So when it comes to irrelevant conversations, I mean, you're talking social media. Whatever, I guess, is the narrative is the narrative. I mean, there's a time, literally, Peter B, not as much as now, but like there's a time when Peter B was literally all, all over, everywhere, social media. And I personally found that to be relevant conversation because, we, I mean, everyone was screening this individual, looking at his CV, what he did as an embracted governor. And some people found it that, you know what, these supporters are being bullies, they're enforcing themselves, they're being very forceful, putting their opinions on us. I mean, and for me at that time, I was like, wow, this is such relevant conversation. So there are just phases as to what social media would hype up for that time and what the narrative would be. And just hopefully, you know, I mean, we've had so many instances. I mean, even what I can also recall is now Desmond Elliot as well. You know, with COVID-19, palliatives, whatever that whole conundrum was. I mean, he was heavily attacked. He was saying stuff that was contrary to what the youth, you know, would expect from him as someone who claimed to represent the youth and the things he's done. And so it was even conversation in terms of, okay, fine, we're discussing what he said. Do we agree or not? But it was also re- irrelevant because people then took it so extra that they were really insulting this man and his whole existence. Would you call that fair? No. So again, when you now say Nigerians and misplaced priorities, I mean, that's a whole different conversation. But in this context, like, it's unfortunate. It's not the best. But really, Kashim Shatema is not in the best of positions. I mean, people get attacked, but his is on a different level from the onset it has just been disapproval like no other. I mean, it's crazy. Because of him, the whole country was in a frenzy. I mean, literally, people were like, wait, why would you make... It was like he he himself was the wrong decision. So I think when it comes to Kashim Shatima, it's a whole different situation because I just believe that he is just unlucky. You are in the... Unf- you're, you've been the unfavorite and now you have to defend why you are the unfavorite person. Like, literally, he's having to defend why he deserves it when people believe he doesn't. That is like he's going against the tide. So, really, whatever he does, and he's also said certain things that have also triggered Nigeria. Like, okay, fine, this individual doesn't even prove to be anything anyway. So, you know, it's very sad, but that is the situation of things. Put what you think about it in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.